الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسول بالهدى والدين الحق ليذر على ديني كل وكفى بالله شهيدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول أما بعد أحب في الله إن ذي سجن الأمن هي تبريز أي دبل but I'm here to expose the ways of the devil and any devil out there who is possessing human being and their ways and their and how to deal with it by the will of Allah Rabbul Izza. And today I'm going to talk about the influence of Shaitan al ashiq in marital life. Now, who is Shaitan al ashiq Shaitan al ashiq can be married can be ifrit, can be wahalan, can be khazab, can be nusibin, can be ghul, can be khubuth wal khabaith, can be amir al bayt, can be tayyar, can be any another jinn out there. It can be Jewish jinn, it can be Christian jinn, Buddhist jinn. The list goes on. And it can be jinn from the mountain. Jinni from the toilet, Jinni from the sewage, Jinni from the tree, Jinni from the grave, Jinni from the lake, river, sea, the list goes on. These jinn I've mentioned and these places I've mentioned, any of them could be Shaitanul Ashok. The reason could be either magic, evil eye, hasad, oppression or revenge these are the reasons and there is no chance by Allah that this din is a Muslim according to my experience I don't think this shaitan al ashiq is a Muslim jinn why is because two things they are master of it is to make the person commit zina and to separate the ties of the kinship, to cut the ties of the kinship. They are master of it. They love to do these two things. And these two things in Islam, we consider them major sin. And another one, he works so hard to separate husband and wife. It could be by means of a, a Muslim jinn who is an oppressor coming there or been hijacked to come there and do the job, or to come and do oppression, because there's so many Muslim out there, there's so many Muslim out there who do oppression. So it could be that reason as well, you find an Ashir Jin who is a Muslim. But 99% are shaitan who are there. Ask Allah to protect the believing men and women out there. The influence of Shaitan al ashiq in marital life, the conclusion are when there is a devil influence between if in the husband or the wife, the marriage is going to be very, very difficult marriage. Very difficult marriage. I have seen people who are married 17, 18 years who have ashiq then when you interview them, you'll find it that they are finding it so much difficult. Argument, they love deep down, they love each other. Allah puts mawadda and rahma inside them, love and mercy. But there is a source from outside which is causing confusion. Now imagine that's a source you cannot see. Just a human being who's outside and influencing either the husband or the wife about his marriage. It will have an effect let alone someone who cannot see whispering to the husband, whispering to the wife. It caused so much problem in the marriage. The marriage will never be a peaceful marriage. It will be a hurdle marriage. Yani the individual will be moving forward. They will be dragging themselves, but there is no peace. The only thing is, which is dragging themselves is by the qadr of Allah. Allah has decreed them to be together. But, wallahi thumma wallahi, I have seen it. There is no sukun. There is no peace. 
husband being kicked out of the house, husband, wife being abused, sister being abused, man being abused, or man being told don't come home until in the evening, or every year man get kicked out of the house, or every three months for absolutely nothing, for doubts, and because of that devil who Ashik Jin. Ashik Jin is a weak Jin who uses the thoughts very effectively. When Ashik Jin is involved in a marital life, it's difficult. He either uses the children or the husband or the wife. Either the beauty side, giving the comments on the beauty side, giving comments on the wife cooking, giving comments on the wife the way she walks, giving comments on the husband the way he dressed, giving comments, or every time the husband speaks, the wife jumps with venomous wood, or every time the wife speaks, the husband jumps with venomous wood. This is the influence of Ashik Jin. No matter what source, I repeat, this Jin, the couples need to reboot their life by observing their lifestyle. Now, one of the most difficult is that when the individual don't pray, it becomes tough, very, very tough. But when they are praying, their life becomes smooth, at the same time toxic, at the same time wobbly, but alhamdulillah, they are moving because of sabr. The influence of a jinn, ashiq, in marital life is not an easy life. What happens is he ends up possessing the kids, or he causes problem to the kids, or he causes problem to the wife, or he causes problem to the husband. Now, there will always be a problem in the house, either from the husband, either from the wife, either from the children. Always like that. It will also go to a length and influence the outside people to cause problems. Allah knows best. Now, the conclusion I come with when there is involvement of Ashik Jinn in a marital life is a destruction upon destruction. Unless Allah has a mercy upon those couples. And ask Allah to have a mercy upon every Muslim couples out there. The symptom of this shaitan al-ashiq is that the couples, they will leave. Either the husband will be very tangy or the wife will be very tangy. Hating each other for nothing. Doubting each other. Suspecting each other. Living isolated in the same house, sleeping different in the same house. Intimacy is dead. Either the husband will have problem with his private part that he cannot function anymore. Or the wife will be feeling pain whenever they have intimacy. Dreaming of husband having intimacy with different women or different women or wife having different different men or the husband every time his wife look outside when they are outside the husband start thinking who are you looking at getting angry or getting thoughts why why is she looking at other men while she's a uh, faithful woman or likewise while he's a faithful husband masturbating getting thoughts of committing zina, both sides, man or woman. I have seen men who watch dirty stuff while they are married, women watch dirty stuff while they are married, men going and committing haram while they are married, women committing haram while they are married, which is caused by shaitan al -ashir. This is why I say destruction upon destruction. Numbness in the bed 
or feeling scared in the bed or feeling something is crawling in the bed, electric shocks in the bed, itchiness in the bed while well, they are together, the husband and wife. Or every time they have intimacy, they feel electric shocks, either the husband or the wife. The list are so many I can go on, but I'll stop it here for today. Inshallah, what are the treatment? The individuals need to reboot themselves and reboot their lifestyle. If their lifestyle is engaged too much into haram, watching musal salat, meaning series and this and that, they need to look into this. They need to look what is this jinni giving him strength because this jinni dwells on some strength that the individual is doing and he stays solid there. And Surah Al-Baqarah, together, work together. Isti'ana in Allah, Adhkar morning, evening, five times salah, tahajjud. Pray, inshallah, these will help. And, inshallah, stay tuned for more, inshallah, and the treatment to come. But Surah Al-Baqarah is the basic and is the top for every infliction. Surah Al-Baqarah brings barakah, particularly if you're reading Surah Al-Baqarah in the night, in the tahajjud, or read it during the day, together, husband and wife. This is meant for husband and wife, but anybody else can follow the same method by the will of Allah. Another tip is you need to write what thoughts come into your head, and you need to Think, why is this coming into my head? And Surah to nas helps a lot. A lot, a lot. Because this jinn or any other jinn, the strength of it is the thought. The thoughts that they throw into the person's head. Abu Yahya from the Rukhya talk, wa da'wana, وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين